Hello, young learners! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Once again, I am Janeline A. Incargas, a second year BE Ed student. For today's video, we will be talking about one of the most important things for all the living organisms here in the Earth. But before we start, let me ask you first a question. So, how do we see things around us? Maybe you would probably say that it is because of our eyes that is why we can see things around us. But, will our eyes be able to see things in the dark? No. So, we need light to see things around us. And that is our lesson for today. So, today, we were going to learn about light and its properties. So now, let us define if what is light. So light is a form of electromagnetic radiation that shows properties of both waves and particles. So it is also a form of energy. Light or visible light is a type of energy that makes it possible for us to see the world around us. It is also a form of electromagnetic radiation of a wavelength which can be detected by the human eye. Light exists in tiny energy packets called photons. So a photon is the smallest unit of visible light. So now, let us know if where do light came from. So light is made up of photons, which are like tiny packets of energy. When an object's atoms heat up, photons are produced from the movement of atoms. So the hotter the object, the more photons are produced. It also came from a giant clouds of dust, cool red stars, and even planets. So hot objects like stars emit a lot of visible light. Light came from different sources. So let us know if what are the different sources of light. Sources of light can be divided into two groups. So first one is the natural light sources, includes the sun, stars, fire, and electricity in storms. There are even some animals and plants that can create their own light, such as the fireflies, jellyfish, and mushrooms. This is called bioluminescence. The second source of light is the artificial light sources. It is any light source that is not naturally occurring. So examples of artificial source of light are candle, lamp, and bulb. So in other words, artificial light sources are man-made. Now, let us proceed to the properties of light. So the first property of light is light travels in a straight line. Light travels in the straight lines primarily due to the fact that light is a wave. However, light can change its path when it is incident on certain obstacles. So this effect is commonly referred to as diffraction. So another property of light is that light travels much faster than sound. So for example, Thunder and lightning starts at the same time, but we will see the lightning first. Light travels very fast, about 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. At this speed, light could travel the equivalent of 8 times around the world in just 1 second. Another, light can create shadows. So shadows are places where light is blocked. Shadows are produced when light hits an opaque object, which prevents the light beams from passing through. When an object blocks the light's path, then darkness appears in the other side. So this darkness is called a shadow. Just like, for example, in this illustration, so the tree prevents the rays of light from passing through. That is why it creates a shadow. Next is light travels in waves. A wave is a disturbance that transfers energy from place to place. What characteristics do light waves have? So light waves are like other kinds of waves. They have crests, 
troughs, wavelength, frequency, and speed. However, light waves are electromagnetic. Light waves have a component that is electric and magnetic. Light has also its basic properties, and these are the brightness, colors, and being visible. Brightness is the intensity of light or brightness of light is related to the amount of light being seen. So the closer the source of the light is, the greater the intensity or degree of brightness. The greater the distance the source of the light is, the lesser the intensity or brightness. Next is the color. Light or white light is made up of all colors of light mixed together. If white light is passed through a prism, it can be separated into light of different colors. So the colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So these are the colors seen in a rainbow. Light is made up of colors. The different colors of light are revealed when white light is passed through a prism and separated into the different colors of the rainbow. It is called the spectrum. So these colors are related to the different amounts of energy in white light. Each color represents a different amount of energy. Just like for example in this illustration, so the white light passes through a prism but it does not create new colors. Instead, it separates the colors that are already there. So the last basic property of light is being visible. So in order for an object to be visible, it must either give off its own light or be a source of light or it must reflect light. So the sun, a candle flame, or a flashlight gives off visible light. The moon and many objects around us reflect light in order to be seen. Why do we need light and why is it important? So light is the main source of energy for all living organisms. Just like for example, a plant needs light energy coming from the sun to combine a gas in the air called carbon dioxide with water in the soil. So through this process called photosynthesis, plants make their own food. So people and other animals then use plants for food. As plants make food, they also give off a gas called oxygen. So people and animals need oxygen to stay alive and that is the reason why light is important. Okay, so for us to better understand light further, let us know if how do light interacts with different objects. So first is through refraction. So what is refraction? Refraction refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. So take a look at this picture. As you can see, a popsicle stick in a glass of water appears bent. It is because of the different parts of the materials that interacts with light. So the parts of popsicle stick that is not dipped in water interacts with the air, while the parts of the popsicle sticks that dip in water interacts with the water. So light moves faster in air rather than in water. So this is the reason why popsicle sticks looks bent. Another is through reflection. So reflection refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. So some objects with flat surfaces like mirrors reflect light in a straight predictable way. So we see objects because they either give off their own light or light reflects off the objects and enters our eyes. So the moon is an interesting example. It doesn't make its own light. We can see the moon because it reflects light from the sun. Some objects with uneven surfaces like rocks reflect light in a scattered way. So another one is through absorption. Absorption refers to a material's taking in of light and not reflecting it back. Absorption of light happens when atoms in an object absorb or take in and hold the light waves. So for example, you are able to see a red apple because of the other light waves are absorbed but red is reflected to your eyes. 
And the last one is through transmission. Transmission refers to the passing of light through some materials. Just like for example in this picture, when light passes through a glass of window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through a window. Different materials have different ways of transmitting light. First is transparent materials. Allow all light to pass through them. Clear plastics and glass windows are examples of transparent objects. Another, translucent materials. Allow some light to pass through them. Stained glasses and frosted windows are examples of translucent objects. And last is the opaque materials. Do not allow light to pass through them. Concrete walls, wooden doors, and mirrors are examples of opaque objects. So here is the summary of the properties of light. First, light travels in straight lines and is a form of energy. Second, light travels much faster or a million times faster than sound. Third, we can see things because they reflect light into our eyes. Fourth, shadows are formed when light is blocked by an object. And lastly, fifth is visible light is only a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The other parts are invisible to the human eye but not necessarily the eyes of other animals. So that would be all for my discussion about light and its properties. I hope you learned something and thank you so much for watching.